Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the United Way for the special Manchester United breaking news. The news we've all been officially, that's right, officially waiting on. It's been confirmed for Manchester United and Sporting that Amram is going to be officially the next Manchester United manager. Everything is done. We're all ready to rumble. There's been a date set for Ruben Amram to join Manchester United. Um, and look, let's read into the news. I'm going to read all the news and then I'm going to give you my view on what I think of the appointment of Ruben Amram being the next Manchester United, being the new Manchester United manager, not the next, the new Manchester United manager. But do like the video, comment your thoughts on the appointment and do subscribe if you haven't already and do follow our socials, links in the description. Um, we've, we've been cover, I've been covering it uh, all on our Instagram, on our uh, Twitter, our X, if you want to call it, and YouTube, so I've been covering it. I would have liked to do a lot, but unfortunately I wasn't home at the time of at the time of the breaking news, but uh, this has been recorded a couple of hours later, but look, better late than never. Let's jump into it. So, Manchester United is delighted to announce the appointment of Ruben Amram as uh, as head coach of the men's force team, subject to work visa requirements. Ruben Amram, Ruben Amram will join until June 2027 with a club option of an additional year uh, once he has fulfilled his obligation to his current club. And again, here it is, the date he will join Manchester United. He will join Manchester United on Monday, the 11th of November. So his first game will be against Ipswich away, which I think is on the 24th of November. So look, he'll have time with the squad over the international break. Uh, well, the players that are available to him as well, which uh, in a way I can sort of say, like, maybe that's a good thing, saying he can get used to it, instead of just throwing him in. To the mid doors. doors. Uh, according to Chris Wheeler, Ruben Emmer wants to bring four coaches and a sports scientist with him. It's understood Manchester United you know, will confirm his backroom team soon, but not today. Uh, and Ben Jacobs has said Ruben Emmer will not have a recruitment veto. Um, also, according to Chris Wheeler, he has come out and said Manchester United sources see Ruben Emmer as a different kind of profile to previous Man United managers and will fit in well with the football structure. Manchester United insists they were aware of the notice period and Amram's contract at Sporting and sent a delegation to Portugal um, on Monday to secure an early release. The club are said to be paying an extra 900k uh, um, above the buyout clause to get him in on November 11th. Uh, Ruben Amram has been given the head coach title at Man United um, as he is a different profile from previous managers and will and will, and will fit in well with the club's football structure. Sporting will 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 receive 11 million for Man United for Ruben Amram, 10 million release clause plus 1 million for a shorter notice period. I mean, look, I'm glad that we've got a shorter notice period because, I mean, look, Sporting could have said we'll keep because look, let's be honest, Sporting have who we want. At the moment, we will eventually have them, thankfully enough. Um, but Sporting, look, we're always going to be they're, they're always going to play hard ball with us to uh to get things sorted. Um, I mean, look, we all let I me mean, look when Mormano came out today and said, Here we go. Um, and all the other top journalists came out and pretty much confirmed that he's going to be, you know, like everything's done, it's just that you know, just to get everything else sorted. We all we well, we all knew. There was a lot of Manchester United fans worrying after his press conference, I think it was Tuesday, after Nacional in the Portuguese Cup, um, uh, that, you know, oh, maybe he's going to say no, maybe he's going to reject. There was not a chance in hell Ruben Amram was going to reject his job as Manchester United manager. Maybe he could have, but I think he's thinking, look, at I'm managing Sporting. He was at Braga, of course, and then Sporting played a big release clause to get him. He done well at Sporting. Um, still is as he's still their core manager as of now. Um, <clears throat> I'll be interested to see his press conference after the match. That'll be an interest, no doubt about it. Or his post match press conference, shall I say? Um, I'm hoping he actually does come out and speak a bit more about it now. I don't know. Look, we should we should be talking about the the current game with the current team he's with, but unfortunately that's just how it is you have to get used to it. you have to get used to the media now Ruben you're at Manchester United it's going to be a whole lot different to the Portuguese media I can tell you that for a fact um I'm sure every other Manchester every other former Manchester United manager can uh can back me up on that one <coughs> excuse me but yeah um it is good it is good I mean the release clause is not going to be a whole lot um obviously he wants to bring in is 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 um his four coaches and a sports scientist with him, 
So he knows what he wants. It, obviously, look, we won't have any. It, it looks like Ten Hag's management squad will be will be gone, including Ruud van Nistelrooy. Um, but look, Ruud, Ruben, you know, we have to back him now. This is where we just have to sit back and back him and see what he can do. Um, and look, there is every reason for it to be excited. I know you're going to be thinking, well, you know, most people, well, I was excited for Ten Hag and. I was excited for this and that, and your know, first season got me a bit giddy, and I'm now I'm getting the same feeling again. Ineos, I'll, I'll give it to Ineos. They move quick. We sacked Ten Hag on a Monday, and I think it was announced on a Tuesday. Um, that you know the here we go came out. That's that's very quick. I think we started speaking to him maybe Monday evening. Um. And look, we were talking to numerous managers as well before Ten Hag even got the sack. Um, and look, I always did say if there was a manager I'd like, if Ten Hag was to get sacked, it was Ruben Amram. I'm glad we brought him in. I really hope he can do uh, he can do a good job. He's 39 years of age, so definitely he's probably one of the youngest permanent managers to take over at Manchester United. So I could be wrong. Correct me if I am. But also... Let me know from right. Uh, but as far as five games, well, on the 8th of November in the Europa League, then Everton on the 4th of December at home in the Premier League, Arsenal away uh, in the Premier League 4th of December, and then Nottingham Forest at home um, in the Premier League on the 7th of December. So his first home game will be Bodo Glimt on the 28th, but his first home Premier League game will be Everton on the 4th of December. I mean, look, that's what, 23 days away. It does seem a long way. But look, we have Ruud at the helm for now. Um, you know, he's going to take over while uh, while we wait for Ruben. But look, we just have to hope he can do well. Look, I'm buzzing we brought him in. I really, really am. Uh, you know, like I said, you have, we we all have every right to get giddy and all happy if, if if that's how you feel. If you feel like, look, I don't want to get too carried away because you do with Ten Hag, that's, that's all up to you. But if you are excited, be a little bit giddy, feeling a bit, hold on a sec, could be onto something good here. By all means, still. Um, but since March 2020, when Ruben Amram took charge of, of them, which is obviously Sporting, Sporting CB have the highest percentage of any team across Europe's top 10 leagues. And look, we all know the Portuguese league, it's it's not, you know, big, competitive, and the Premier League is totally different to what people think it is. Ruben Amram, I mean, look, I think a lot, I've seen a few people say, a few, you know, um, media people who, you know, will be close to sporting Manchester United, and, but more sporting and know what Amram's all about, are saying, um, it's it's a brilliant appointment for Manchester United. You know, he has a good relationship with his players, his fans, his management. He has a good relationship with everyone. Um, you know, he's never he never a man that criticizes his players in public. Obviously, he will, you know, behind closed doors to them when when if needs be. Um, but look, I always say I want the manager to come in that has a bit of gravitas, a bit of swag, a bit of I take no shit, a bit of if you don't do what I say, I'll let you know about it, I won't let you away with it. Um, if anything goes wrong on the pitch or in the training or just like I'm seeing in general, you will know there and then. I won't wait until I won't wait until uh, you know, whenever after the game or whatever to let you know. Uh, and I hope that some of the players can listen to it and he's going to be a voice in that dressing room, no doubt about it. Um, but look, he does seem like he is a good manager. Um, you know, I mean, look, I've, I mean, I've probably run out of things to say because I mean, I've spoke about it numerous times now, but I am happy we brought him in. I hope we can, um, we can just we can do well under this manager because I'm sick and tired of the same old cycle sacking the manager and going for a new manager. I hope, I really hope and pray. Because it's not a certain, but I hope and pray he is going to be the man to bring us back to the glory days. I really, really do. Um, you know, I really, really do. And I am interested to see what system he goes with. Probably more than likely he'll stick with his 3 4 3. Probably go to a 5 3 2 in, you know, in games. In some games, um, you know, we may, we may see him as Rari on the left wing back and Dallow right wing back. We'll see what happens there. But look, that's a conversation for another day. Of course, um, I mean, we have, what, Chelsea Sunday. 
uh, Pyok, um next week, and then we have Leicester next weekend. So we have pretty much three games before we see Ruben Amram in the dugout. Uh, and I think Ipswich is probably a good game from the start. Just see what we can do, you know, if he is going to go to that 3 4 3. We're going to be we're going to be, uh, we're going to be against a man who was at Manchester United before in the management team, Kieran McKenna, who we spoke to during the summertime, and we thought that Hag was going to get the sack then. So yeah, it should be an interesting one. But I'm looking forward to seeing what Ruben Armand can do. Um, I think I look. Look, I'm going to say and say I think it's a good appointment. It's not certain that it's going to be. It's going to work. But look, we can all sit here and be like, I might not work. Someone has to come in, and I'm glad we brought in Ruben Amram. It's a manager I really, really wanted. If Ten Hag got the sack, Ten Hag got the sack, Ruben happily, I'll happily take that. You know, Manchester City wanted him when, where, when, when uh, Manchester City wanted him for when Pep leaves. Liverpool wanted him in the summer, and he said no. Uh, and look, I've seen teams like West Ham did him under because he didn't match whatever. Fair enough. I don't care what they think. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm hearing a lot of good things about him. I haven't really seen any bad things about him yet. Um, and why it's a risk. Uh, look, it's always a risk bringing in any manager, regardless of, of, of who it is or what his, what his past has been like uh, with previous teams or anything like that. We just have to hope and pray it works. But uh, look, we've seen what he's doing with Sporting since he's arrived. We've seen what he's doing in his, in his managerial career in general. And... All is looking very well there. You know, when things are going wrong with him and his team in terms of results on the results or performances or whatever, he gets to the bottom of it and he makes things work again. So, we, uh, you know, that's what I hear something today. Like, I think sport, was a sporting Abrago going through a bit of a rough patch and he just got to the bottom of it and then they were back playing well again, back doing good things. So, sporting have definitely been very, very successful uh, since he's came in. Um, that's what March that was obviously March 2020, so four years ago. Sporting have done a lot of good things. Obviously, you know, few sporting fans, well, most of the sporting fans, players don't seem to be happy that he's leaving because obviously, look, that just goes to show how good of a manager he is and how much he means to sporting where they're upset and raging that he's leaving. But, uh, look, I hope I'm sure you understand why. But look, if if it'd be, it'd be like it'd be, it'd be like if we had a great manager. And then someone tried to come in and take us, take him off, as you will be furious with him while you leave him. But you, you'd understand in the end. But not just United, it's a big job. It's a it's a tough job. And I hope Ruben Amram knows what he's in for. You know, he could happily, he could have happily stayed at Sporting and just kept that good uh, reputation going. And I hope he does keep it going when he comes to us. But the fact he's going to Manchester United you know, to hopefully get us back to the glory days, back to where we should be, or at least get us up a couple of steps, you know, because I want him to be the man. Really, really hope he's the man. Um, and yeah, I am looking forward to it. But again, do let, do like, do let us know in the comments what you think of Drew and Amber and appointment. Look, I'll probably sound in a bit weird there, but what I will, I'll be a bit positive. I hope it's going to work out. The football that he plays in Sporting seems very good. He seems to play with a high press. He likes a 3-4-3. Three, three. They he likes his defence to be as high up that pitch as he can. Look, look at Guy, Guy Carrez. Guy Carrez, I think his name is. I tell you what, I'd love him to come in. I really, really would love him to come in. Um, whether that's probably be in the summertime, whenever. Sporting may have a few offloaders now, depending on, on how things go there. But Ruben Amram, I do look. I am. I look. I am feeling confident. I am feeling confident. Um, when I watch his press conferences, I watched his press conferences recently. Um, and I want to watch a sport and football match. I was definitely watching that sport and city game on Tuesday. Don't you worry about that sunshine. But um, where I'm going at is uh, where am I going? I'm, I'm not there, I'm not there getting lost. I'm in the field and I'm lost, and I don't know how to take it out. But, anyways, what was we'll move on. Um, got distracted there, but yeah, <laughs> Look, hopefully it works so. Hopefully it works so. I am buzzing for it. Um, and yeah, I'm glad we brought him in, and I'm glad we moved quick. We move very quick, we move fast. I love it, I love it. Um, look, it's a shame we won't have him before the international break, but look, we'll bring him in, he'll get to speak to the players, and you know, the players he has during the international break, he'll have his walk cut out, he'll have his walk cut out. 
trust me. Um, he's going to be a busy man, and I hope he's up for the task. I hope he's up for the task. I really, really do. Um, yeah, I, I, just, I am looking forward to it. I, I can't wait for that Ipswich game now. Um, you know, can we skip past the international break already um, and get him in? But look, it's going to be exciting. It is going to be exciting, you know. I mean, we've had managers in the past who have worked out when we thought they would have. We all thought then how would have worked out, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that fourth season he had was just, it's all in the past now. But look, we're not going to be negative. Ruben Armand is the next, is the new Manchester United manager. It's been confirmed. Everything is done and dusted. There's no going back now, Ruben. I hope you understand that there's no going back now, Sunshine. Um... And yeah, I really am looking forward to it. I, I man, I cannot wait. I'm even speaking about it. I'm just, I'm like a little kid on Christmas morning. I'm, I'm buzzing and I can't wait. But I, let's hope it works out. I can be ballsy and say, it's going to work out. But then people will say, Dean, you said it worked out and it never did. Let's just sit back and enjoy the show and let's see what happens in that first game against Ipswich away from home. Thanks, buddy, for watching. I'll speak to you on the next one. Thanks, take it easy.